Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. I am starting dinner and it's going to take a matter of minutes. I am doing a pasta dish with shrimp and tomatoes and it's going to take a matter of minutes to cook it and I've got some fettuccine noodles boiling on the stove behind me and they're going to cook in about eight minutes. So I just got done peeling some shrimp. I bought the Easy Peel Shrimp 3140. That means there's 31 to 40 shrimp per pound. And it's very wise to keep your shrimp extremely cold. Now I have my oven three preheated back here to 400 degrees and on my baking sheet i'm cooking this in the oven i'll accept for the pasta on my baking sheet i'm going to add one stick of butter now i want to get this butter in the oven and get it melted because it will not take but just a minute to melt it and then we're going to add everything else to it. And I'm going to stir my pasta while I'm back here. And it's almost ready to come out. We're not putting the pasta in the oven. We're going to add it as we bring everything else out. We have some pretty little cherry tomatoes, little grape tomatoes rather, that I got at the grocery store. I have a lemon and I'm going to cut off a piece of that lemon. Let's see, what else do I need? I need this. And I'm going to cut off a piece of this lemon to use some juice. But I also want some lemon slices in here. We're going to be adding some garlic and some Parmesan cheese. Does that sound good? It does to me. I've made this before and it is absolutely delicious. So give me just a minute. Let me get that butter melted and I'll be right back with you, okay? Our butter has melted. I just took it out of the oven. Now I'm going to add a little bit of minced garlic. I have a teaspoon here and I think I'm going to eyeball it. I think I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic. Let's stir that around and see what we think. Yeah, let's put a little bit more. Let's put a little more. It's going to be good. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now I want to add some olive oil. I want to add a little bit of olive oil to this. Now, the olive oil mixed with the butter is going to keep the butter from burning but it also gives it a good flavor. I don't use extra virgin. If I have it, sometimes I do. This is not extra virgin. This is just regular olive oil. Now we're gonna sprinkle these tomatoes over it. And what's gonna happen is these tomatoes are gonna burst open as they're cooking and they're gonna get juicy and mixed with all that butter. I decided I wanted to add some Old Bay to my shrimp. Now, I'm holding off on the salt because my butter is salted and I'm going to be using Parmesan plus the lemon. And that lemon will give it not, it doesn't give it salt, but it gives it that taste. So let's put this shrimp i'm just going to scatter them over and you know shrimp do not take long to cook at all and this little piece of lemon that i cut cut off look here i'm just going to squeeze this over and it just makes it so fresh let's use this little end piece too let's don't waste him now Stir that all into that butter. The only thing I wish I had and I don't is some crusty bread to go with this because it'll sop up all that butter. Y'all know how I love my butter. Now I'm going to scatter these lemon slices through here. 
And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of Parmesan right now. Not much. If you've got fresh Parmesan, by all means use it. I don't have any, and I always have this on hand. That's why I use it a lot. I don't always have fresh. When I have fresh, I do use it. So I'm going to put this in the oven, and I'm going to have to time it and see how long it actually takes to cook it. And uh, I suspect on 400, probably 10 minutes, maybe. And um, so we're going to come back, and I'm going to let you know how long I actually cooked it, okay? Stay with me. Turn my pasta off and I'm taking it out of the pot. I'm not draining it. And I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And our shrimp and tomatoes are about to come out of the oven. And we're gonna mix this all together. And we're gonna be ready to eat. Oh boy. Now, when I boiled my pasta, I salted my water after the water came to a boil. Then I salted it, and then I put my noodles in, and the noodles cooked for around eight minutes. That's what I had, there were eight minutes. And um, they're tender, they're kind of al dente, but yet tender. So now we're getting ready to add this goodness to it. So let's grab it out of the oven, okay? Ooh, and you can see, remember I've told you before, when shrimp, if you overcook them, they'll be tough, and you just want to get them to where they form a C, or they'll be too tough. Look at here, look how beautiful that shrimp is. You see that right there? And all these tomatoes, let me see if I can hold this pan up for you, and this butter. <laughs> All that golden liquid. Is that not a beautiful plate? But you know what I think I want to do? I want to add just a tiny bit of parsley. I have, all I've got is dried parsley. But I want to add a little bit of parsley on top of that. Now, isn't that just beautiful? That's a beautiful pan of shrimp. And see... That parsley just set that off, didn't it? Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm just going to rake every bit of this into this bowl with the pasta. With these fettuccine noodle, noodles, they're fettuccine noodles. And then we're going to toss it up. Oh, I wish I'd had some crusty bread. That would be so good. But I don't. Looky here. <laughs> Can you see in that? Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. Let's you see those tomatoes are bursting. Let's serve up some. Oh, we want some of the tomatoes. We want some shrimp. Let's get a lemon slice as well. We just want all kind of goodness on this plate. We may, no, I don't think, well, looky there. What a beautiful dish. Now let's try it, okay? Let's try this pasta. Mm, I know it's going to be good. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. We did not need the extra salt. Mmm. Oh my. That shrimp 
is perfectly cooked. Mm. That tomato is so soft and tender, it just burst in my mouth. This is one delicious dinner, and it takes no longer than to boil the noodles. So you get your noodles in the pot, have this ready to go in the oven, and ended up baking, cooking the uh, shrimp and tomatoes in the oven about 15 minutes. And because I wanted those tomatoes just really soft and burst open and get that shrimp just right. But I hope you will try this. And if you will, please let me know what you think about it. And come back and see me again soon. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm posting my next video and share my channel, please. I thank you. Bye, everybody.